In this video, we will go through the configuration process for Stripe Basic Checkout for WPE Store, which will allow for a payment through Stripe within a pop-up window on your site. Be sure that you have WPE Store and the separate Payment Gateway Bundle set up before following along. Also, make certain that your domain is using HTTPS. Many web hosts offer free Let's Encrypt SSL certificates, which will enable HTTPS for your domain. First thing you need to do is enable the Stripe Basic Payment Gateway. If you would like to still allow other payment methods to be used during checkout, you will need to enable multiple gateways. To enable multiple gateways, go to WPE Store, then Settings. Then click the Payment Gateway Settings tab from across the top of the screen. Put a check next to Use Multiple Payment Gateways if it isn't already there, then scroll down and click the Update button. Now, to enable the Stripe Basic Payment Gateway, go to Settings, then Payment Gateway Bundle. Click the Gateway Settings tab from across the top of the screen. Scroll down and look for the Stripe Basic Settings panel. Put a check in the Use Stripe Basic Payment box. In the new tab, log into your Stripe account. From the left side of the screen, click the API link. Copy over your secret and publishable keys for both test and live into the Stripe settings on your website. If using multiple gateways, then there will be a drop-down box presented to the customer to select how they would like to pay. You can specify the text that is displayed for the Stripe Payments option within the Stripe Basic Selector label box. You can then brand the pop-up payment box with your company or website name and a logo by adding values in the next two boxes. Optionally, you can validate the customer's zip code before allowing the processing of the payment. Choose whether you want to disable the collection of the billing address. Now, you have the option to enable Alipay and Bitcoin. Click the Update button when complete the setup. Now, navigate to the General Settings tab to validate some of the settings and set up the test environment for Stripe. At the top is where you will specify the language, currency code, and currency symbol. Three pages were created automatically when the Gateway Bundle was installed. This next section allows you to override the default pages or set them up manually if there was an error during setup. In general, you can leave these as is. Enable testing mode in the next step. Optionally enable debugging if you want to check where any errors have occurred during your testing. Click the update button when complete. Disable any maintenance plugins and do a test transaction to be sure that Stripe works as expected. Choose the Stripe payment option in the payment method drop down box, then click proceed to checkout. You'll be brought to a details page and then the pop-up form will display. Enter in test billing details. You can use a test visa number provided by Stripe, which is 4242, 4242, 4242, 4242. Click the pay button to finalize the test. Within your Stripe account, click the Payments link from the left side to verify the transaction. Once you are satisfied that Stripe works as expected and you have a live account within Stripe, be sure to disable testing mode on your website. Head to Settings, then Payment Gateway Bundle, scroll to the bottom, uncheck the testing box, then click Update. 